Yo guys, what is going on? Monday 86 here. I'm back with the 2004 Mazda 6, and today we are going to be changing the front valve cover gasket. I'm going to show you a way that's super simple and easy to do. Alright, let's get this going. Alright, this was the easiest way I was taught how to do this. I was showed by an ASC certified mechanic. So what you want to do, just get your uh, valve cover gasket. Put it right there. There you go. That's how you change your valve cover gaskets. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Monday to 6, out. Alright, you're going to want a 10mm deep, deep socket. Just take these uh, three screws out. Actually, they're nuts. Hold this plastic cover on here that cover the valve cover. Alright, in order to take this valve cover off, we're going to have to take a couple of these retaining clips off. They're just on the side of the valve cover. So like most of this stuff, some of it's dry rot. It's a 2004, so you're going to have to expect that. I'm going to take this big harness clip off here. You should just pull off. Alright, right here. Right here. So just squeeze this. Alright, just like that. You got a lot of this stuff off. Just gonna keep taking the stuff off that's on the top of the valve cover. out of the way. Here it's just some of the dry rotted electrical tape that's on there. It's gonna be expected. Right, probably just connect some of this stuff. Alright, since I will be taking these coil packs off here, I'm gonna mark them. Not the best here. Definitely is not the best. Wow, look at that. We'll just we'll just do it in dots. How about that? There we go. Let's do one. Let's do two. There we go. Let's do it like Morse code style. Sounds great. Alright, just get all these clips undone here. I'm gonna push all the wiring harness off to the side. Um, oops, uh, clip pull pack connectors. See that one didn't have one on it. Um, Grab like a bungee cord to have all this stuff held up. Cord. Let's see what we can hook in here. Let's hook it. Let's hook it to them. There we go. Look at that. All right. I think holding it up by that. Uh, <laughs> She'll wipe her arm there, uh, does a pretty good job. Just take these cool packs out. There's three out. All right, we're gonna wanna 
put some of these uh, paper towels down the spark plug hole so nothing falls down in there. All right, we're just gonna go around the uh, valve cover and start taking all the bolts out. I'm just gonna get a little brush. is off and this is what the cylinder head looks like the top of it where the uh, dams and rockers are all located you see I have a little bit of dirt in there I'm gonna be very careful to clean that up uh, we're gonna have to get rid of any of the gasket material on here just don't let it fall in the engine you can see it was probably leaking a lot right there that's where we get all this excess oil down here but we're gonna clean everything up We're gonna put the uh, new valve cover gasket on. We're gonna put some engine degreaser here on top of the valve cover. Oh, it's really, really nasty stuff off with that soap for a little bit. All right, I went ahead and replaced the uh, spark plug uh, seals right here. And I replaced the valve cover gasket. It's pretty simple, you just put it on all the little contours and grooves and just make sure it's pressed firmly in there and next we're gonna grab a little RTV which I use the right stuff and we're gonna put it right where the factory did we're gonna put some here here there and there and then we're gonna stick the uh, valve cover on in it gasket
tighten them. That will ensure that you will not be stripping out. Well, cover bolts. Screw in to the cylinder head. All right. Now that we got the valve cover installed and all the valve cover bolts all tightened down, now we're going to start putting everything back together in reverse order. Alright, we just still got about everything hooked up here. Just gonna put up couple zip ties here and put down this little harness. Like all the harnesses and everything's back on. Everything should be in its place. The only thing we need now is the plastic cover. All right, you guys, thank you for watching and uh, glad you tuned in on this uh, 2004 Mazda 6 valve cover gasket change.